Hatred of rich and poisonous tongue female star X pretends to be a poor and real big shot seriously, male crush, 1v1, SC, sweet pet, entertainment industry, Yun Zi was originally the true daughter of a wealthy family, but since childhood, he has been independent and swore not to marry into a wealthy family, in order to avoid commercial alliances with top financial conglomerates. She spared no effort in severing ties with her family. On her most destitute night, she met Shun Jishin, men possess top-notch divine beauty, are gentle and chivalrous, and are both poor and white, which is very appealing to her, the two got married by chance. Not long after, a new actress emerged in the entertainment industry, Yun Zi made a stunning breakthrough and jumped from being transparent to becoming a top-tier expert in the powerful faction. Netizens have rumored that she is having an ambiguous relationship with a handsome assistant, suspected of having a romantic relationship, until the news of their secret marriage was exposed, the entire online community mocked her husband as a poor person who eats soft food, Yun Zi opened a live broadcast room and fiercely retorted, Sister, would you be happy? Do some people want to eat? Suddenly, a handsome man wearing a nightgown affectionately hugged her slender waist and said, Wife, kiss me. The sharp-eyed netizen was shocked and said, Isn't this handsome guy the ruler of the Shen family's financial system? Yun Zi was shocked and angry, Are you the damn marriage partner? The man knelt down on the keyboard and said, Wife, listen to my explanation. Later on, it was widely rumored in the Beijing area, the ruthless and ruthless ruler of the Shen family, who gave him life and death, and was feared, had two faces in power, in front of him, he is dressed in a suit and leather shoes, dignified and abstinent, indifferent and distant, and should not approach strangers, afterwards, he dressed in cheap clothes, wore a hat and mask, and worked as a courteous errand assistant for someone in Hindian. Also acting as a kissing assistant. Novel keyword. Surprise. After refusing to get married, I was obediently and without pop-ups by the marriage tycoon night and night, shocked. After refusing to get married, I was obediently persuaded by the marriage tycoon night and night. Download the complete set of TXT, amazing. After rejecting my marriage, I was coaxed by the marriage tycoon night and night. Latest chapter reading. Chapter 1. Great Hero, Goodbye by Destiny. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1 Great Hero, Goodbye by Destiny The chill of March still lingers in the sea market, with dark clouds rolling over the city and a thunderbolt piercing through the silent night sky. Roaming. At the Yun family villa, Yun Zi's expression was resolute, Dad. If you still want my daughter, you'll refuse this marriage. Yun's father earnestly advised, Ear, that's the ruler of the largest wealthy family in Beijing. Being able to marry such a family is a natural opportunity bestowed upon us by the Yun family. No matter how good the luck is, I don't want it. Don't you still have a daughter? Give it to her. Ear. Yun's father was a bit angry, but in the end, he suppressed his anger. Dad, this is also for your own good. You are dad's biological daughter. Yun Zi coldly curled his lips and said, Oh, really? Do you still know that I am your biological one? What do you mean by saying that? How many times have you come home to see me in all these years? Yun Zi's voice was icy cold. Anyway, I won't marry anyone. Why should I sacrifice happiness for your interests? I don't owe you anything. What does it mean to exchange my interests? You're not eating or wearing my clothes when you're so big. Without me, you could be so carefree. Can you live in the most expensive observation room in the center of Heisher? Yun Zi suddenly smiled and took out his long prepared property certificate, a bank card, and an IOU from his bag, I will return the house to you. I haven't spent a penny on you since I was 18 years old. Thank you for raising me for 18 years. Even if it's 1 million per year, there's 8 million in this card. I will pay the remaining 10 million in installments to you. From then on, you will consider yourself without my daughter. You. Are you trying to anger me to death? You. 
Yun Zi ignored his father's roar and turned around to leave. After leaving the Yun family, Yun Zi drove a red supercar on the road, pouring heavy rain with lightning and thunder. Instead, she opened the sunroof and let the rain hit her. Only in this way, my mother won't see her crying in the sky. At the age of seven, her mother passed away in a drunk driving car accident, shattering her once happy family overnight, it was also on the night she woke up for her mother that she saw her father embrace her current stepmother, who was the top actress of the past. It was then that she understood that the reason her mother drank so much alcohol was because her father had an affair. In less than half a year, Yun's father remarried and treated the mistress's daughter as his own. The Yun group was an industry that her parents started from scratch and grew to this extent, largely thanks to her mother's business acumen. However, her mother ultimately gained the tragedy of her husband's infidelity and her tragic death. From then on, Yun Zi hated her father, since then, her life motto has been never to marry into a wealthy family, she felt that a wealthy man was like a rotten egg, wanting to bite any rotten fly that smelled it, she is human, not a fly. In this world, relying on nothing is better than relying on oneself. The car sped and finally stopped at the entrance of the foggy bar. Yun Zi had already been drenched in soup, but she still walked proudly out of the car, pinning her already soaked hair behind her ears and forcing herself to smile. At this moment, she was dressed in armor and dressed up to attend. She was born exceptionally well, a stunning fishing beauty. Even though she had no makeup or hair at the moment, and her coat was dripping with water, she could still amaze everyone. She habitually walked to the old position in front of the bar and sat down. She lowered her eyes and lightly tapped her fingers on the countertop, a cup of blue-tailed kite. Hmm. A cold but low magnetic and pleasant voice drifted lightly, and Yun Zi lifted his head, his eyes slightly raised. New here. Such a personality. She turned the dice on the table and waited in boredom, her fair and slender legs resting on the ground. Suddenly, an unpleasant smell came from behind. Oh, beautiful woman, alone. The yellow-haired boy placed his hand behind her at some point, his gaze drooling as he scanned her figure, staring straight at the beautiful face, revealing his ugliness with his teeth bared. Yun Zi frowned impatiently, his voice cold, get lost. Huang Mao is a regular customer of this shop and a well-known playboy in the market. He doesn't have any kind of woman he wants. Today, Yun Zi slapped her in the face and couldn't help but feel uneasy. He raised his hand and slapped her. Before the palm of his hand could reach him, his movements were suddenly stopped by someone. A beautiful wrist bone stood in front of Yun Zi. She blinked and slowly withdrew her leg from kicking the crotch, leaning back with a hint of melancholy. The man had a cold expression, deep eyes, and a cold gaze swept over Huang Mao's face, causing him to shiver uncontrollably, You, what kind of thing do you dare to argue with me? The man remained silent, but his strength suddenly increased, a crisp sound came from, click, he twisted Huang Mao's wrist and threw him on the ground like throwing garbage, then calmly washed his hands and started mixing drinks as if nothing had happened, Huang Mao stood up with a fierce expression and said fiercely, kid. Wait for me. After speaking, he angrily left, not long after, the man placed the mixed wine in front of Yun Zi, and his voice added a touch of warmth. Miss, the blue-tailed kite you want, he said he is skilled in techniques that are both ornamental, and with his hands, his bones are clearly defined, and he is white and slender, further up, there is a delicate appearance that is almost perfect as a work of art, it has to be said that every aspect of this man grows on her aesthetic point, which makes her, who has never been a flower lover, look a bit stunned. As if noticing her gaze, Shen Jishin casually asked, Is there something dirty on my face? Yun Zi snapped back and said, No, I just thought you looked good. Shen Jishin didn't answer, but his ears quietly turned red. After Yun Zi finished speaking, he suddenly felt abrupt and quickly changed the topic, Why haven't I seen you before? I just arrived today. Shen Jishin answered lightly. After a moment of silence, Yun Zi asked again, Do you dare to stand out for me if you are not familiar with the place of life? 
The man curled his lips and smiled lightly, out of chivalry. Yun Zi also smiled, I didn't expect to meet a hero again. But that person seems to have some background. If he troubles you, let me know. After all, this matter is caused by me. Shen Jishin nodded deeply and said, then add WeChat. Yun Zi was stunned, in that case, it will be convenient for me to tell you. Oh, good. Not long after the two added WeChat, Huang Mao, who had just caused trouble, returned, at this moment, Huang Mao's nose was blue and his face was swollen, and the corners of his mouth were bloodshot. He walked over and bowed to Yun Zi, who was ninety degrees, saying, Beautiful woman, I just apologize to you. Please forgive me. Yun Zi's eyebrows furrowed slightly, full of confusion, Huang Mao too didn't even lift his head and said, Please forgive me, sir, for not remembering any petty mistakes. Forget it, get lost. Yun Zi didn't want to provoke this bad luck. Huang Mao left with resentment, Yun Zi drank all the wine in his glass and said to Shen Jishin, Great hero, we have a chance to see each other again. Wait. Shen Jishin stopped her and handed her a blue umbrella. Remember to give it back to me. Yun Zi smiled without any affectation and left the bar with an umbrella. What she doesn't know is, two minutes after she left, a man in a custom dot made suit appeared in front of Shen Jishin and respectfully said, Sir, we just had another fight with that yellow hair. May I ask what you want to do? Shen Jishin adjusted the second cup of blue tailed kite with a focused expression and said, Find a guilty name and lock it in. Yes, the person answered with a lowered head. And. Do you have any further instructions? Shen Jishin raised his eyes, his originally calm black eyes now bursting with coldness. Don't appear again without permission. Yes, yes. The visitor trembled with fear and left trembling. In an instant, Shen Jishin took a deep sip of the blue-tailed kite, his black eyes gradually deepening, he must get the girl he has been in love with for fifteen years. Dear children, it's time to open a new book everyone, please support us this is a super sweet pet article without any cruel love, the male lead deliberately pretends to be poor and approaches the female lead, cultivating both love and career in the text, whether it's love or brotherhood, they are all very easy to resist. It's a warm and sweet text that warms and redeems each other author's fungal pit product guarantee, daily stable updates, guaranteed completion, trust me. The little fairies definitely won't lose out by investing. About Deep CP, Shen Jishin. Shen Jishin's love for Yun Zi is like a volcanic eruption of magma, or like a flowing stream. His love is both passionate and restrained, thick and flowing. He approaches her with great care and care, just to gain her heart and become the irreplaceable one of her sun, moon, and stars. When confessing, he said, I like you getting angry at me, I like your stubbornness, I like your openness, your strength, I like you calling my name, I like everything about you. Yun Zi Yun Zi didn't even know that she fell in love with Shen Jishin at first sight. Due to family reasons since childhood, she had a strong aversion to men in her heart until she met Shen Jishin, this handsome, upright and chivalrous man, who cooks well, is capable of fighting, is gentle and considerate, but likes to be jealous, has completely addicted her to her unconscious interactions day and night. When confessing, she said, Shen Jishin, I like you. It's the kind of love between men and women that cannot be replaced by the sun, moon, and stars. I want to be by your side forever until I die. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 Is so clever, why are you? You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Is so clever, why are you? Yun Zi didn't go home, but drove to the residence of his only best friend Chin Shi. Stopping the car, my gaze drifted away, and in the end, it landed on the blue umbrella of the co-pilot. The thin figure supported the umbrella and walked slowly in the rain. When Yun Zi rang Chen Shi's doorbell, she completely suppressed a hint of sadness on her face. As soon as Chen Shi opened the door, he saw her drenched all over, her face turning pale with shock. Oh my goodness, baby, 
how did you make yourself look like this? Yun Zi squeezed out a smile and said, it's hard to say a word. Tell me quickly, what happened? Yun Zi told her once about her father forcing her to get married, after hearing this, Chen Shi's chin dropped in shock and said, oh my god. You really don't want such a big family. Don't you understand me yet? Money is like dirt, dogs are not rare. Chen Shi scared twice and said, baby, do you know that with your strength and beauty, how could you still be a little transparent after three years of debut? Because I don't take shortcuts, Yun Zi frowned, this is just one of them. Your biggest flaw is not only hating the rich, but also being sarcastic. Do you know how many people in the circle can be offended by your words just now? I know Chin Daiki Anjin, as long as I don't offend you, Yun Zi playfully blinked. Cece, you have to take me in tonight. Why are you being so polite with my sisters? You can just stay here for a while. If you don't go to the bathroom and take a hot bath, I'll cook a bowl of ginger soup for you to dispel the chill. Thank you, dear. After Yun Zi took a bath, Chen Shi brought her ginger soup and poured her a glass of cold medicine. She watched as she finished drinking before going to bed. The next morning, she was awakened by Chen Shi's screams. Ah! Yun Zi! You've been hacked and trending. Yun Zi was pulled up from the bed by Chen Shi, and when she opened her sleepy eyes, she saw Chen Shi's phone screen placed in front of her, hashtag shocked. 18 line actor Yun Mi hooked up with several men in one night hashtag below are a few photos with tricky angles, showing her ambiguous behavior with Huang Mao and the bartender, Yun Zi quickly flipped through the photo, but fortunately, he didn't get a picture of the bartender's face, so he didn't drag an innocent person into the water. Looking further down, there were all comments criticizing her. She blinked lightly, picked up her phone, and opened Weibo. Chen Shi said with a resentful tone, Bao, you're almost being criticized as a stopper. Didn't you say you're going to participate in director Chen Li's new film lead actress audition next month? Director Chen is one of the few big directors in the industry who only looks at her strength without considering her background. This is a good opportunity for you to make a name for yourself. Now that you're getting into such negative news, it's completely out of line with the female lead's plan. While typing on the screen, Yun Zi said, isn't director Chen only looking at his strength and not at the background? Besides, this hot search is just spreading rumors, not facts. Even so, they wouldn't use an unknown actress who is completely black on the internet. Their female protagonist is a pure, kind, and ethereal fairy, not a naturally black angler. Well, I know, I'm trying my best. What are you doing? Who are you chatting with? Yun Zi looked up and smiled, this generation of netizens is really not good. Upon hearing this, Chen Shi quickly opened a Weibo comment, fatty guy loves to eat fish. I know that handsome guy with dyed yellow hair. He's a second dot generation guy, and his family is very wealthy. Yun Zi is specifically going to fish for the second dot generation, isn't he? How shameless. Bah, he's always black. Yun Zi's reply. Look. There's something barking loudly in front of money, but it's too fat to be looked down upon by the second generation in the same village. If she is the most beautiful. If she looks like this, she dares to go out. Who gave her the courage? Get out of the circle as soon as possible and pretend to be a ghost to scare anyone to death, Yun Zi's reply. Some people try their best to pretend to be ugly in a beautiful and prosperous era, while others are scared and take a detour when ghosts come. Only A.I.E. This person is so heartbroken. I want to catch a turtle, but my son dot in dot law even looks up to a bartender. Yun Zi's reply. How did Wang 17, who buried his beloved family, come out? TSK TSK, little pitiful, he hasn't even learned human language yet. Chen Shi looked both angry and amused. Just as she was about to say something, Yun Zi called, it was her agent. Li Jie, what's up with calling so early? Don't you know yet? You're on the trending list. 
I just saw that. I will handle this matter and it won't affect the company. Hey, just now I received a call from Mr. Zhou Qi, who said that black and red are also red. As long as there is popularity, there will be traffic, and there will be profits with traffic. What he meant was, let's take this opportunity to create a fishing personality for you, so. Yun Ziyi's face turned cold and he said, I disagree. He can't even think about it. Li Jie, please tell him that I will come and terminate the contract with Tian Yu tomorrow. Yun Ziyi hung up the phone. An hour later, she finished washing up and putting on light makeup before going out. Chen Shi frowned and asked her, Baby, do you really want to terminate your contract? Well, actually I had this plan a long time ago. Tianyu Entertainment is a subsidiary of the Yun Group, and since I want to cut ties with the Yun family, this is also something that must be done. But in your current situation, after terminating your contract with Tianyu, who else is willing to sign you? If it's really not possible, I'll go it alone. Do you have money? The penalty for breach of contract is not a small amount. If you don't have money, I'll give it to you. Yun Zi smiled and shook his head, no need, I have money. She never fights unprepared battles. She hung up her car for sale online a week ago. Fortunately, she had a buyer yesterday and promised to see the car today. If the condition of the car is true, she can pay in the afternoon. She is going to show the car to the buyer now. Before leaving, she saw the blue umbrella hanging at the door and took it off. When Yun Zi drove to the Shenghua Commercial District, one hour earlier than the agreed time with the buyer, she parked the car and entered a coffee shop that she often drinks. A cappuccino with sugar and no milk, thank you. The barista turned around at the sound, when Yun Zi saw this overly handsome face, she was extremely surprised and said, What a coincidence, how could it be you? End of this chapter Chapter 3 New Neighbors You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 New Neighbors Shen Jishin chuckled lightly and said, It seems that there is fate in the martial arts world. Yun Zi nodded and apologized, By the way, I caused you trouble with the things online, didn't I? If so, I can compensate you for the mental damage. No, Shen Jishin earnestly made coffee and casually chatted, I didn't expect you to be a celebrity. Yun Ziyi's self-deprecating hooked lip said, what a celebrity, even an actor, doesn't have much fame. It's really hard to do your job. You also suffer from those false slanders and insults. No, didn't I just fight back? Shen Jishin skillfully hooked the flower and casually asked, is it worth persisting like this? I'm not living to show others. I love acting, and for the sake of my dreams, what's not worth it? I believe you will succeed, the coffee is ready. Thank you. Yun Zi sat down by the window with his coffee in hand, sipping it while watching the crowds coming and going, when she received the buyer's call and hurriedly left, a pleasant voice came from behind. Miss Yun. She turned her head and met his gaze, my name is Shen Jishin. Yun Zi smiled at him and said, see you next time, Mr. Shen. Shen Ji gazed deeply at her back until the crowd engulfed her and she did not move a single bit. The person who bought the car was a woman in her twenties and sixties, dressed very fashionably and with a straightforward personality. She simply looked around the car's appearance and agreed on the spot. The two of them hurriedly went to the car management office to transfer ownership and paid for it. Before parting ways, Yun Zi said, I'm sorry, the umbrella in the car is mine, I have to take it with me. The woman rolled down the car window and handed her the umbrella with a smile, here you are. After selling the car, Yun Zi went to Yenjia near the vehicle management office. The salesperson warmly welcomed her and said, Hello miss, may I ask if you want to buy a house or sell a house? I want to rent a house as soon as possible, and I can check in within the last three days. What are your requirements for the house, such as orientation, location, appliances, and facilities? Being able to live, clean, and with a monthly rent not exceeding 5,000 yuan, it would be best if it were in the city center, Yun Zi said awkwardly. 
will my requirements be too high at this price? The salesperson smiled and said, it's a bit difficult if it's normal, but we happen to have a property in our store that suits your requirements. Would you like to come with me to take a look? Okay. An hour later, the salesperson brought Yun Zi to Lin Yuanju. This is a mid-range residential area with good greenery and convenient transportation. There is also a supermarket and a vegetable market downstairs, which is very suitable for living. However, it was only because the construction was a bit old that it went from a high-dot-end residential area to a mid-range one. After seeing the house, Yun Zi was very satisfied. The room was a two-bedroom apartment, decorated in her favorite minimalist European style, low dot key yet not lacking in texture. The entire color tone was also her favorite blue color scheme, such a good house, only 4,800 yuan per month. The salesperson explained, yes, to be honest with you, this floor is all owned by the landlord. As you know, wealthy people don't lack this, and renting it out is also a way to gain popularity, which can be considered good deeds and accumulate virtue. Yun Zi casually said, hmm. But the landlord still has conditions. What conditions? The condition is that the rent starts from one year and is paid in full at once, the salesperson asked tentatively. Miss, do you think you want it? If you are satisfied, you can sign the contract and move in with your bag. Okay, I want it. Yun Zi thought to himself, this is not about doing good deeds and accumulating virtue. It should be because the landlord's funds are in trouble and they need money to save the situation. After signing the contract and paying the rent, Yun Zi immediately went home to pack his luggage and prepare for moving, so busy that he didn't even have lunch. When she called for a car to transport her luggage to the downstairs of Lin Yuanju, it was already 6 p.m. in the afternoon. Looking at the packages unloaded from the big and small boxes, Yun Zi felt a headache and said, Master, can you help me move these up? Okay, okay, we'll have to charge extra. How much is it? 500. Yun Zi was surprised and said, so expensive. I'll just move it myself. She transported these luggage in batches to the elevator entrance, going back and forth more than ten times. As soon as she arrived at the elevator entrance, the door was about to close, wait a minute. The people inside pressed the elevator open. As soon as the door opened, Yun Zi hugged the box and stood still in shock. Inside the elevator, it was none other than Shin Jishin, who had encountered him three times in just one day. The man stood in front of her, looking at her with confusion. Miss Yun, how could you? I, I'm not following you. I moved here because I moved. Oh, Shen Jishin moved his eyes and looked at the piles of packages on the ground, saying, let me help you. It's okay, I can do it. Shen Jishin politely smiled and said, two people moving, can you get on the elevator faster? Then I'll trouble you. Yun Zi couldn't refuse this reason at all, after entering the elevator, Shen Jishin raised his hand and pressed the 19th floor, Yun Zi looked at the button on the 19th floor with the blue light on, silently lost in thought. What kind of fate is this? Even the floor is the same. The man turned his head and asked her, which floor are you going to? I'll help you press it. It's also the 19th floor, Yun Zi said awkwardly Shen Jishin awkwardly withdrew his hand and said, how many bars do you live on? 19.6, what about you? 19.7, the air froze for a moment, and the two of them spoke in unison, what a coincidence. After reaching the 19th floor, Shen Jishin helped her move everything into the room before leaving. After Yun Zi tidied up everything, it was already late at night. After a busy day, she finally lay down on the sofa to rest, her stomach growling. She took out her phone and wanted to order takeout. But as soon as she thought she still owed a huge sum of 10 million, she gave up the idea and decided to go downstairs to buy a box of instant noodles. After changing her shoes, she saw the blue umbrella on the counter, exactly, go and return it to him. So, Yun Zi knocked on Shen Jishin's door for the first time. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 
Dinner Together. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 4 Dinner Together, Miss Yun, What Can I Do For You? At this moment, Shen Jishin was wearing a very ordinary home uniform, wearing an apron, holding a spatula, and the aroma of food wafted from the room. Sorry to bother you so late, I'm here to return the umbrella. After Yun Zi finished speaking, his stomach growled again. Shen Ji smiled deeply at the corner of his mouth and took the umbrella, saying, Tonight's food has been cooked a bit too much. If Miss Yun doesn't mind, would you like to come in and have some? Yun Zi was taken aback for a moment and said, Ah. Isn't that too good? If I can't finish eating, it's a waste. Since we are neighbors, there's no need to be so open minded. I just hope that in the future, when I can't eat, Miss Yun can donate a bowl of white rice. Yun Zi was amused by him and said, Don't worry, I can still afford white rice. After entering the house, Yun Zi noticed that Shen Jishin's home and her home decoration style were no different, only slightly different. Entering your home is like entering your own home. Shen Jishin raised his eyes and looked at her with a puzzled expression, Don't get me wrong, I just want to say that the decoration of our two families is exactly the same. Shen Jishin said calmly, This is not my house, it's what I rented. I also rented it, and the salesperson said that this floor is all owned by the landlord, so it's not surprising that the decoration is the same. Oh, Shen Jishin took out the vegetables from the pot. Alright, we can start cooking now. Yun Zi looked at the three dishes and one soup on the table, which were all in color, aroma, and taste, without any affectation, and started cooking directly, she's too hungry, and this food is too delicious. She indulged in a feast and said, Mr. Shen, your main profession is not a chef, is it? Your skills are really amazing. Shen Jishin tried his best to suppress the smile in his eyes and said, No, I didn't find a formal job, so I did some part-time work. Do you consider becoming a cook in the exam? I don't think about it for now. I don't have much material desires, as long as I earn enough money to support myself. I don't like being bound by a certain job, it's not very free. That's really a pity. The food industry is missing a talented chef like you. Actually, I just made it according to the recipe, just following the cat and drawing the tiger, it's not really a natural talent. Yun Zi laughed and said, isn't it considered natural? You can draw a tiger from a cat, but I can't even draw a cat from a tiger. Shen Jishin chuckled and said, just eat if you like. Yun Zi paused for a moment. For some reason, she felt like she had been teased by him, and her face felt a little hot unconsciously, but Shen Jishin was dining in an orderly and elegant manner in front of him, as if nothing had happened, she felt that she must have overinterpreted it. Neither of them said anything more and silently cooked. This meal Yun Zi ate very well, after a few pleasantries, she was about to go home. Before leaving, she bit her lip and said, Thank you for your dinner. I'll treat you next time. Shen Jishin smiled at her and said, Okay. The next morning, Yun Zi got up early. Today, she dressed very delicately and walked out in high heels. She took a taxi to Tianyu Entertainment. As soon as she entered the company, other artists were pointing at her, and the voices of private discussions remained undiminished. Yun Zi held his head high and headed straight for Zhou Qi's office. Just as he was about to open the door, voices could be heard inside. If so, you need to practice the script of Director Chen Li's Flying Immortal this time. Director Chen is well dot known in the industry for being difficult to handle and difficult to win without certain strength. I have contacted him three times about this matter and haven't even seen him in person. I know, Brother Zhou. I will definitely work hard. If it still doesn't work out, in your opinion, can my dad please him? Zhou Qi smiled and said, if Yun Dong comes forward, then there must be no problem. Upon hearing this, Yun Zi immediately became angry and pushed the door open. With a clang, the two people in the room looked at her together, Yun Ruoruo, besides knowing how to use backdoors, what else would you do? It's only you, 
a scumbag, who has drowned out so many good actors in the industry. Before Yun Ruoruo could say anything, Zhou Qi slammed the table and stood up, Yun Zi. Don't you know how to knock on the door? If it were the daughter of the Yun group, she would be born here and you wouldn't be jealous anymore. Are you funny? Do I need to envy her? Yun Ruoruo's face turned pale upon hearing this, and he quickly interjected, forget about brother Zhou, sister Yi has no ill intentions. If so, you're just too kind. She just called you a scumbag, and you actually helped her speak. Yun Ruoruo squeezed out a smile and said from between his teeth, everyone is a colleague. But at this moment, her heart was extremely nervous and afraid, afraid that Yun Zi would dismantle her platform in person. Almost everyone in the circle knows that Yun Ruoruo is the daughter of the Yun group, and the company is throwing all its resources at her, spending a lot of money to package her as a pure and popular actress. However, they do not know that Yun Ruoruo's original name is Fang Ruoruo, a stepdaughter who has no blood relationship with the Yun family. Yun Zi was well aware of Yun Ruoruo's expression and didn't have a good impression of her at all. She was too lazy to talk nonsense and threw a bank card in front of Zhou Qi, saying, this is a penalty for breach of contract. Ask someone to type out the termination agreement, and I'll sign and leave. Terminate the contract. Do you know how much you want to pay? Five million. Can you afford to pay so much money? Are you blind or deaf? Can't you see such a big bank card? Okay. You wait for me. After Zhou Qi called the finance department to confirm the penalty for breach of contract, he asked the personnel to bring the termination agreement and mocked, worms like you should have been cleaned up long ago. Yeah, garbage should be piled up together with garbage. We bugs are at least a living organism. Zhou Qi couldn't resist her strange energy and was so angry that her veins burst. I see you're so dark now, who else dares to sign you? What breed are you? You live by the seaside and your surname is Wang. Yun Zi glanced at him and left freely and recklessly. If Yun Rua saw her arrogance, he had doubts in his heart and quickly followed her out. Until leaving the company and entering the elevator, with no one around, Yun Ruoruo cautiously spoke up and said, Sister, Yun Zi was too lazy to look at her in the eye and said, Miss Renren, Miss Renren, are you also not idle and tired? I, I was hiding it for you too. Sister, why did you suddenly terminate your contract with the company? Yun Zi raised his eyebrows and smiled lightly, because I want to go home and inherit my family business. Yun Ruoruo bit his lips hard, his nails even ingrained in his palm. Didn't you say you don't rely on your family? Yun Zi shook her hair coquettishly and said, even if you don't rely on me, you're still biological. Yun Ruoruo's heart was filled with anger from her. As soon as Yun Zi got out of the elevator, he received a call from manager Zhang of the Yun family villa. She hesitated for a few seconds, pressed the mute, and suddenly felt very frustrated. She asked the driver to turn around and go to the cemetery. She missed her mother and wanted to go talk to her. Walking up to the tombstone of her deceased mother Qin Shu, she saw a handful of sky-blue stars, as well as unburned incense and fruits. It was obvious that someone had come to pay their respects. Who could it be? Is it Qin Shi? It should be, only she knew that she would privately use an untimely flower like the blue sky star to worship her mother. Yun Zi sat down in front of the tomb and said, Mom, do you think I'm too stubborn? But don't worry, I can take care of myself alone. I will definitely realize my dream and live the life I love. You are in the sky, don't worry about me. Yun Zi's eyes turned red but he couldn't bear to cry. He talked to his mother for a long time before leaving, taking out her phone, Butler Zhang had already called her more than ten times. In the end, I still answered. Miss, you finally answered the phone. Please come home quickly, the master is seriously ill. Yun Zi paused for a moment and said, if you're seriously ill, you should seek a doctor. Why do you need me? The doctor said that the master is suffering from heart disease and depression. 
He is currently unconscious and has been calling your name. Miss, please come back to see the master. Got it. Yun Zi hung up the phone, but ultimately went to Yun's house. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 Miss Ending WeChat You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Miss Ending WeChat She had just stepped into the villa gate when two rows of servants bent down together and said, Hello Mississippi. Yun Ziyi said lightly, I am no longer the miss of the Yun family. Zhang, the butler, came down from the second floor and called everyone back, respectfully inviting Yun Ziyi upstairs. Yun Ziyi went to Yun Qin's bedroom, and in front of the bed sat a wealthy woman in her forties who was still charming, Yun Qin on the bed said weakly, Ruhua, you go out first. Ear and I have something to say. Meng Ruhua said with great wisdom, Husband, take care of your health. Zi Yi is a sensible child. If you have anything to say, just tell Zi Yi well. She can listen to it. Aunt Meng, do you need to show me your acting skills? If you have this free time, why don't you teach your foolish daughter more? I don't need it. Meng Ruhua was the woman who intervened in her parents' marriage back then, and Yun Zi Yi never gave her a good face. Upon hearing this, Yun Qin sat up from the bed and said, can't you just calm down? Every time you come home, you're like a hedgehog, choking without saying a few words. Meng Ruhua quickly said, Husband, don't talk about her personality. She has this kind of personality. Why are you and your daughter so angry? You father and daughter have something to talk about, I'll go out first. Yun Zi lazily leaned against the door and said, Why are you calling me back? Aren't you unconscious? Suddenly, Yun Qin coughed heavily and said, Believe it or not, close the door and listen to me finish. Yun Zi remained silent, closed the door, and a pair of beautiful peach blossom eyes lazily moved towards the window. Ear, listen to your father's advice and don't get involved in the entertainment industry. As long as you agree to a marriage alliance, the father of the Yun group can immediately hand it over to you. I've said it before, I'm not rare. Yun Ziyi's voice was faint. Yun Qin was both anxious and annoyed. Why don't you understand? That's the top aristocratic family in Beijing and even the whole country. Can our Yun family afford to offend us? Oh, so you're selling your daughter. The Yun group is your mother's hard work. Are you just watching? Yun Ziyi suddenly increased his volume and said, you don't deserve to mention my mother. If my mother is here, will she take me to exchange money? Yun Qin let out a heavy sigh and said, Dad doesn't mean that. Dad is also for your own good. That's how many people can't get married even if they squeeze their heads out. If you lie to me and come back because of this, then we have nothing to say. Yun Zi slammed the door and ran away, encountering Meng Ruhua, who was carrying fruit, at the corner. She stopped and stared straight at Meng Ruhua, you've all eavesdropped on me. As long as I'm willing, the old man will give me everything. Be careful to serve him for so many years, and in the end, you won't get anything. Meng Ruhua's lips unconsciously withdrew a few times, but he still smiled and said, Zi, what are you talking about? I am sincere to your father, and I know you don't believe it, but no matter what decision he makes, I will unconditionally support him. Oh, you mother and daughter are truly a virtuous couple. Meng Ruhua looked at Yun Zi's haughty figure, his face just now full of softness, and his face had already turned grim. Yun Zi went downstairs, but Butler Zhang insisted on seeing her off. Unable to refuse, Yun Zi had to get into his car. Miss, I know you have always held a grudge against the master, but after all, the master is your father. In the past two years, his health has really been poor. Uncle Zhang, don't cooperate with him in playing the bitter meat trick. Dot. It's not about acting. The master has been taking medicine for the past two years. He has been trying to keep you from being worried and has been refusing to let anyone tell you. If the young lady doesn't believe it, you can go to the hospital to check his medical records. Yun Zi remained silent for a long time, but finally asked, 
what disease does he have? Heart failure, but the young lady doesn't have to worry too much. Fortunately, she discovered it early and has been actively treating it. However, the doctor said that he is not suitable for high-dot-intensity work and cannot be under too much pressure. Silent all the way, Yun Zi finally got off the car at the misty bar. At this moment, she just wants to let the alcohol numb her, hoping for a brief release. Even if she hates her father again, after all, blood is thicker than water, do we really want to get married? She is unwilling. Yun Zi drank one cup after another until the world in front of him began to spin, and his rationality told him that he couldn't drink anymore. She slapped her face hard, pushed her messy hair behind her ear, lifted her bag, and lifted herself up, her body was shaky, and she took two steps with her head down. Suddenly, she bumped into someone's chest, and a comfortable fragrance lingered at the tip of her nose, she lifted her head in a daze and rubbed her eyes heavily before blurring out, it's you again, Mr. Shen. The man's ink pupils were like water, and his voice was gentle. Can we still walk? Yes, yes. Yun Zi took two steps back, stumbled underfoot, and was about to fall. Shen Jishen promptly reached out and helped her, I'll see you off, it's just the right way. Don't bother, you're still at work. It's okay, it's not safe for you to get drunk so late. Yun Zi grinned faintly intoxicated and said, Thank you very much, great Xia Shen. Shen Jishen held on to one of her arms with a sense of propriety, while the other hand held a gentleman's fist and carefully helped her onto the taxi. The two sat in the back row, and Yun Zi fell asleep. The car turned at the intersection, and her head leaned against Shen Jishen's shoulder. The man remained motionless, afraid of waking her up, and silently lowered his eyes to look at her, feeling the joy of this moment. The car quickly drove to Lin Yuanju. Shen Jishen woke her up. As soon as Yun Zi opened his eyes, he saw the man's sexy Adam's apple and perfect jawline. Shen Jishen sat very upright, his hands neatly placed on his legs, like a well-behaved student. Yun Zi immediately got up from the man's shoulder and got off the car. The cold wind at night, combined with the palpitations just now, dissipated a lot of drunkenness. The two walked shoulder to shoulder on the way home. Yun Zi secretly glanced at Shen Jishen, who was polite and silently accompanied by the gentleman beside him, and mustered the courage to say, Thank you so much tonight. Next time, I'll treat you to dinner. Shen Jishen put his hands in his pockets and turned his head to smile shyly, then you owe me two meals. Facing her clear and pure ink eyes, Yun Zi's heart suddenly skipped a beat. She nervously averted her gaze and whispered back, Hmm, okay, two meals. Yun Zi slowed down his pace and allowed the man's long legs to walk ahead, she really didn't understand that even if he wasn't facing his prime beauty, even if he was wearing an ordinary apricot coat, black pants, and small white shoes, his back was still so beautiful and secure. She bit her lip and looked at Shen Jishin's tall and steady back, then quietly overlapping her figure with him under the light, after returning home, Yun Zi immediately took a hot bath and lay in bed. As soon as he closed his eyes, all his previous worries surfaced, ah. She let out a loud scream of annoyance, scratched her hair, sat up from the bed, picked up her phone, and started sending a WeChat voice message to Chen Shi. Shi Shi, help. I'm really annoyed. Shen Jishin, who was next door, heard her pig-like cry and walked around the room with his phone for a long time. However, he couldn't help but send the first message to Yun Zi. I just heard your cry. Did something happen? As soon as Yun Zi saw a small red de, he pressed the voice button and grabbed his head, saying, Ah, ah, what should I do? I really don't want to get married. But this cruel reality forces me. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Obtaining Marriage Certificate You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Obtaining Marriage Certificate As soon as Yun Zi finished venting, she threw away her phone. Taking advantage of her drunkenness, she covered herself with a blanket and burst into tears. 
After listening to her voice, Shen Zhishen's expression on Jun's face was extremely complicated. He paced back and forth in the room, and finally walked out. Yun Zi was crying heavily when he suddenly heard someone knocking on the door, she lifted the blanket and touched her tears, then walked casually towards the door, it's so late, who is it? As soon as the door opened, she saw Shen Zhishen standing straight outside the door, with a serious but slightly uneasy expression on his face. I have a way to help you. Do you want to listen? Yun Zi asked, what can you help me with? Shen Zhishen took out his phone and placed the chat record in front of her. Yun Zi focused on it and instantly wanted to dig a hole in the ground. Do you want to hear my method? What, what's the solution? Shen Zhishen said calmly, if you're married, no one can force you to get married. Yun Zi's eyes lit up, yes, even if you say you are already married, such a statement can give an explanation to the wealthy families in Beijing. They should not be making things difficult for the Yun family. Yun Zi murmured, the idea is a good one, but where can I find a man to marry in such a short time? Shen Ji pursed his lips and secretly blushed in his ears, how about we get married? Ah! Yun Zi's mouth widened in surprise. What I mean is fake marriage. First, go to the Civil Affairs Bureau to get a marriage certificate. Once you pass this difficult time, I can give you freedom any time you want. Shen Jishin's face was still calm, but his heart was already pounding wildly. But. But why are you helping me? Yun Zi hesitated a bit. Although it was a fake marriage, they were legally married after obtaining a certificate. Getting a marriage certificate is just an extra piece of paper for me. Yun Zi stared at him in a daze without saying anything. Shen Jishin suddenly realized something was wrong and immediately added, I don't disrespect marriage, I just don't care about the form. Helping you is just a daily act of kindness. If you don't want to, you can consider it as if I haven't said anything. Yun Zi bit his lip, feeling a bit conflicted in his heart, although she thought Shen Jishin was a good person, she had only known him for a few days and didn't know him well either. But currently, besides him, she really doesn't have a better candidate. Shen Jishin saw her hesitating and smiled faintly, then you should rest early, I'll go back first. Until he turned around and left, Yun Zi couldn't help but call out to him, wait, Mr. Shen. Shen Jishin stopped and a sinister smile appeared on his face. When he turned his head, his handsome face was full of innocence and indifference. Thank you for sacrificing so much to help me. Can you give me a price? I can pay you the compensation. After hearing these words, Shen Ji's deep eyes lit up and he said, Miss Yun, if you think of me like this, then you should just pretend that I haven't said it. No, I didn't mean that, Yun Zi didn't expect his reaction to be so intense. He hurriedly stepped forward and grabbed his sleeve, the man's gaze fell on her slender little hand, and Yun Zi let go of it with a casual tone. I just feel like I owe you such a big favor, and I don't know how to repay it. Don't misunderstand, in my heart, you are a great person, a hero. Well, I got it. Shenji lowered his eyes and looked at her deeply. Then tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, I'll be waiting for you here. Is tomorrow afternoon okay? My household registration book is still at my dad's house. See you tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock at the entrance of the Civil Affairs Bureau. Okay, we won't see each other. Shen Jishin smiled slightly and turned around to leave. Yun Zi returned to the bedroom and happened to see a floor mirror on the side, ah. She saw her hair now spreading its teeth and claws as if it had been struck by lightning, and was so frightened that she quickly covered her mouth. Oh my god! She was just using this ghostly appearance to negotiate with him whether to get married or not. Who can save the child? At this moment, Shen Jishin, who was next door, also covered his mouth and tried his best not to laugh. He excitedly clenched his fist and said softly, yes. At night, he was so happy that he couldn't sleep all night, his mouth occasionally curled up, and he smiled like a child who had received his beloved candy. Yun Zi felt dizzy lying in bed. 
She had never been in a romantic relationship for so long, but she had to get married tomorrow. Although it was a fake marriage, it was really unbelievable. But this is indeed the only way to achieve the best of both worlds at present. So early the next morning, Yun Zi sneaked back to Yun's house to steal his household registration book. The process went much smoother than she had imagined. Yun Qin and Meng Ruhua were not at home, so she took her household registration book and left. Shen Jishin got up early in the morning and went directly to the Civil Affairs Bureau without even taking a step for lunch. Since a little later, he has been looking at his watch every once in a while, and the frequency has gradually increased to once every ten seconds. Finally, at two o'clock and one minute, he saw the familiar figure. Yun Zi strode towards him with a mask and sunglasses on, panting heavily and saying, I'm sorry, it's not easy to take a taxi at noon, and there's still a bit of traffic on the way. Am I late? Shen Jishin let go of the big stone in his heart and smiled, saying, It's okay, time is just right. Let's go in. Well, how long have you been? Yun Zi casually said. Just arrived soon. Oh. The two quickly obtained evidence, and Yun Zi stared at the red notebook in his hand, although the two people in the photo didn't smile naturally, they were both talented and beautiful, perfectly matched. She suddenly felt like she was dreaming about everything. Shen Jishin beside him was already ecstatic in his heart, but no matter how great the joy was, it could only be replaced by a very subtle smile at the corner of his mouth. Hmm. Shen Jishin quickly suppressed his smile. Can you help me keep this matter confidential to the public? When I pass this hurdle, I will come back and register for divorce. Sure. Yun Zi smiled sweetly and said, Thank you very much. You are truly a hero among the great heroes. By the way, I have something else to do and I have to leave first. So let's. See you later. Okay. Yun Zi nodded, took a taxi and returned to Yun's house, just as I was about to go upstairs and release my household registration book, I met Yun Qin who was going downstairs. Just in time, she just made it clear at once. She looked at Yun Qin and said coldly, I have something to tell you. Yun Qin turned around and went upstairs, go to the study and say. Entering the study on the second floor, Yun Zi placed the marriage certificate he had just obtained in front of Yun Qin and said frankly, I am already married. Just tell them the truth over there, and they will understand the difficulties and retreat. Getting married. When did it happen? Yun Qin was shocked and angry, aren't you just acting around? Getting married is a lifelong event. How could you be so playful? Yun Qin was about to open his marriage certificate when Yun Zi quickly snatched it from Yun Qin's hand. Who said marriage is a lifelong thing? Didn't you remarry soon after my mother left? Ear. How long will you hold on to this matter? Yun Zi's voice was faint, and his words were prickly. It won't be long, at most for a lifetime. You, I see you're willing to make me angry to death. Yun Zi placed his household registration book on the desktop and only took away his own page. I'm leaving, no one will be angry with you again in the future, he said after Yun Zi left, Yun Qin's face became extremely pale, in an instant, he made a phone call and said, give orders. If any brokerage company in Haishu dares to sign Yun Zi, it will be against our Yun group. The butler Zhang who came in to deliver tea advised, Master, why are you doing this? If the young lady finds out, she will only become even more distant from you. Yun Qin let out a heavy sigh and said, do you think I'm willing? But my body is getting worse and worse day by day. This Yun family will always be handed over to her. She can't continue to act like this. After Butler Zhang left, Yun Qin hesitated several times and dialed another phone number non-traditional marriage before love everyone support for the new book period, vote for it, end of this chapter. Chapter 7 Waiting for your divorce and marriage You are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 7 Waiting for Your Divorce and Marriage Yun Zi had just returned to the Lin Yuan residence when he received a strange phone call. 
The very pure Beijing dialect Mandarin over the phone said, Are you Miss Yunzi? I am, who are you? Did you hear from your father that you are already married? Yun Zi immediately realized that he must be a member of the financial magnate in Beijing. Yes, if you don't believe it, you can go check. We have checked and my husband said he can wait for your divorce before getting married. Hey! You guys have it all up. Before she could finish speaking, the person had already hung up the phone. Yun Zi laughed angrily as he didn't hit a single spot and said, Ha! Huh. What kind of top-dot-level wealthy and powerful person? Has a brain disease. Even second-dot-hand ones are needed. A Maybach worth over a hundred million yuan has been parked near Lin Yuanju, in the car, Qin Feng in the driver's seat put away his phone and looked respectfully at the man in the back seat, saying, Sir. Shen Ji rubbed his chin contentedly and said, Hmm, it's done well. Qin Feng saw that the boss was in a good mood and seized the opportunity to report on his work. Sir, tomorrow afternoon the group will hold a quarterly summary meeting. There are still several major projects in the company that need to be decided by you before they can continue to start. Look. I understand. I will make time for an electronic meeting tomorrow afternoon. You can leave now and sign the process documents for me. Yes. After Yun Zi sorted out her mood, she started looking for an economic company online. The audition for director Chen Li's female lead is about to begin. Without an economic company, she probably wouldn't even be able to get the interview script. She must work hard to seize such a good performance opportunity. Until evening, she listed all the famous economic companies in the sea city, for the next two days, she was busy with interviews, but without exception, there were various reasons for rejecting her, and everyone saw her as if they were seeing a sign of decline. She arrived at the last brokerage firm on the list, gave herself another boost, and walked in with a smile on her face. But as soon as she submitted her resume, the HR manager immediately returned her and said, I'm sorry, you don't meet our artist's signing standards. Yun Zi was angry for several days and couldn't help but say, you haven't even looked, why do you just say I don't match? I've seen it, isn't your name Yun Zi? yeah, what's wrong? Online, it said that you catch several golden turtles sun dot in dot law in one night, isn't that you? That's slander and it's fake. Don't you choose artists based on their professional abilities? Why don't you give me a notebook and I'll show you how to act? No need, our company doesn't need artists with unethical behavior like you. You. Forget it. I can't even look up to places like you with colored glasses that look at people. After Yun Zi finished speaking, he stood up and left. The HR manager was also angry, even if you are the only person who has been banned, you dare to say that our place is a bad place. Even if you finish leaving all the brokerage companies in Haishir, no one will want you. What do you mean? Am I not clear enough about what I said? If you offend someone you can't afford to provoke, don't try to get involved in the industry in the future. Look at you, it's better to take advantage of your youthfulness and beauty to catch one after another. You. Yun Ji was extremely angry and suddenly stood up. She really wanted to slap him, but the thought that tomorrow morning she would be used as a pretext to make headlines again forced her to endure it. But just then, a person wearing a mask and a duckbill cap rushed in outside the door, and his fist hit the HR manager's face without hesitation, Ah, who are you? You. The HR manager was stunned by a punch and fell to the ground. A person who acts on behalf of heaven. The man's boxing style did not stop, upon hearing that pleasant voice, Yun Zi seemed to be Shinjishin. Hurry up. Call the security guard, call the security guard. The HR manager was beaten up and shouted loudly. Yun Ji's opinion was not right, so he quickly grabbed Shen Jishin and said, All right, stop fighting, run. She pulled him around and ran, running for thousands before stopping in a secluded alley. Yun Zi bent down and gasped for breath, You, how could you be here? Shen Jishin took off his hat and revealed his bright and clear eyes. 
I happen to be working as a part-time assistant for a male artist in their company, he said, I couldn't resist seeing that person humiliating you as I passed by. You really shouldn't have offended those bugs for me. They may not know how to repair you in the future. It's okay, I won't work there anymore. Shen Jishin silently twisted his wrist, but was caught in the eyes of Yun Zi, are you injured? No. I saw it all and said, no. Hurry up and I'll accompany you to the hospital. No need, I'm really fine. Just take some medicine when I go home. Are you sure your bones are okay? Hmm. Shen Jishin nodded obediently, it's really okay. Yun Zi pulled the man's sleeve and walked away, then let's go home quickly. Shen Jishin looked at her lively little figure, and the corners of his mouth under his mask had already involuntarily risen. After returning to the Lin Yuan residence, Yun Zi entered Shen Jishin's home for the second time. His room is still as clean and tidy as ever, with orderly furnishings, even stacking rags into small squares and placing them where they should be. Yun Zi felt inferior. Compared to him, her place was just a dog's nest. You can sit anywhere. Shen Jishin poured her a glass of water. By the way, where is your medical kit? Yun Zi sat on the sofa and took a sip, I'll go get it. Shen Jishin took the medicine box from the drawer in the living room and said as he walked, I probably accidentally twisted it. I'll just spray some medicine myself. You're not convenient with one hand, let me help you. Yun Zi picked up the medicine box from his hand. Shen Ji smiled deeply and said, Okay. Yun Zi takes out a bottle of Yunnan Baiyao spray from the medicine box, lifts Shen Jishin's wrist and sprays it around, then raises his hand, lowers his head and blows gently. The warm orange sunset shone through the window on her delicate melon seed face, her thick curled eyelashes trembling like butterflies, and then down came the high nose bridge cherry mouth, all of which captivated Shen Jishin. Suddenly, Yun Zi lifted his eyes, and Shen Jishin met a pair of beautiful peach blossom eyes that captivated the soul. His cheeks unconsciously began to heat up. Yun Zi saw his face turn red and raised his hand to touch his forehead. Why are you so hot? Is it a fever? I'll find you an antipyretic. Shen Jishin grabbed her hand and said, No need, I'll be fine later. How can you not use it? I estimate you have a fever of over 38 degrees. How can you not take medicine when you get sick? He is indeed sick, a disease that only she can cure. So, under her gaze, he took an ibuprofen. At night, Shen Jishin felt a bit groggy. He smiled and shook his head, then dialed Qin Feng's phone and gave him some instructions Dear children, leave more messages and vote more often the new book period is very important. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Has My Boyfriend Died? You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Has My Boyfriend Died? In the next few days, Yun Zi found some unknown small economic companies for interviews, but without exception, they were politely declined. What kind of person did she offend that she couldn't afford to provoke? Is it the Nouveau Riche in Beijing? Well, it must be. Even a newly established leather bag company doesn't want her. Besides that person, who else could be so cunning? This method is so ruthless that it doesn't leave any room for her. Yun Zi clasped his hands and looked up at the sky, Mom, you must bless that local tycoon to go bankrupt soon. Just as she was wandering on the street, she received a call from Chen Shi. Baby, I heard you were rejected even when looking for a new economy company. Yeah, I'm just worried. I have a company here that seems pretty good. Would you like to give it a try? What do you mean? Are you trying to open a back door for me? Thank you, I politely declined. What kind of back door is it? Last night at the party, I happened to hear a friend mention a company called Love Entertainment. Although this company has only been established for three years, it seems to have a big background, good resources, and a unique management. Love artists rely on their strength for all their resources. I think it is particularly suitable for you. 
Yun Zi was initially delighted upon hearing this, but soon felt disappointed again. Oh, I'm done now, he said, what's wrong? Have you already gone for an interview? That's not true. How do you know there's no point in trying without even trying? Yun Zi sighed and said, Hey, I've been banned. Even big and small economic companies dare not accept me now, and IE Entertainment should be no exception. Baby. Anyway, you've run so many companies. What if you run another one? What if you succeed? Keep going. You're the best. Chen Shi's chicken blood beating did indeed inspire Yun Zi. She gritted her teeth and said, Okay, I'll go in love now. She has a quick and decisive nature in her work, and after hanging up the phone, she went straight to love entertainment. After entering the company, the receptionist warmly welcomed her and asked her to fill out her resume before queuing up for the interview. To her surprise, the interview went very smoothly and she passed all the procedures in front of her, only missing the final audition. Yun Zi was waiting for the audition outside the rehearsal hall with a number plate. In front of her were seven or eight glamorous artists, who were discussing the script in pairs. Only one girl dressed in ordinary clothes was isolated. She didn't like to join in the fun, so she sat in the corner with sunglasses and focused on her notebook, wanting to quickly take on the role. She was watching carefully when suddenly a sharp and sharp voice drifted from afar, Oh! Isn't that Yun, the fishing girl, who wanted to cheat on her? She was terminated by Tianyu Entertainment to make love. As soon as these words were spoken, the gaze of seven or eight artists fell on Yun Zi in unison. Under her sunglasses, her eyebrows furrowed slightly, and as she lifted her beautiful eyes, she saw a woman dressed in trendy attire and full of fake big names mocking her with high toes. Yun Zi's red lips curled, and his smile was both charming and sinister. Oh, where did this come from? You're dressed in A.grade clothing, rich woman. You want to fish, but someone must pay attention to you, right? You little slut. What nonsense are you talking about? My clothes and bags were all bought from a specialty store. How could you say I'm A.grade? I think the LV Spring Limited Edition set you're wearing this year is fake. Such an expensive set, can you afford it just as a fisherwoman? Yun Zi was too lazy to waste time with her, so he took off his sunglasses and revealed a stunning face. What should I do? Sister has beauty. You don't want those little fish and shrimp in your pond to come and get you a set, he said, you. You still have face, right? At this moment, the staff came out and called out, Number 03 Wang Sisi, please come to the rehearsal hall for an interview. Yun Zi smiled at Wang Sisi and said, Your number plate is very suitable for you. Wang Sisi gave Yun Zi a resentful glance and immediately changed his smiling face to greet him, Here we go. After Wang Sisi left, the isolated girl walked over to Yun Zi and said in a soft voice, Sister Yun, I believe in you. Yun Zi looked up and saw a sweet looking, well intentioned girl in front of her. What do you believe in me? I believe you're not a fishing woman. That hot search shows that someone hired a navy to deliberately set the pace, and I've seen your plays. Although your character is not good and there aren't many scenes, I think you're really good at it. Yun Zi politely smiled and said, Thank you. You're welcome. The girl also smiled back, By the way, my name is Tang Yitian, and I hope to be your colleague. Yun Zi lifted the script in his hand and said, Let's work together. Not long after she finished speaking, Wang Sisi walked out with a bitter face and tears streaming down her face, leaving. The two staff members who took her away couldn't help but whisper gossip when they returned, this Wang Sisi is really miserable. I don't know how she got into Mr. Lu's trouble. As soon as she entered, she was scolded by Mr. Lu to the point of being bloody. If I were her, I would probably want to find a hole to burrow into on the spot. Is that enough to say? Look at her fake big name all over her body. As soon as she comes in, she flirts with Mr. Lu, and her acting is awkward like a zombie. 
Mr. Lu hates people who lack strength and still want to fish. Isn't Yun Zi, who came for an interview today, a popular online hooker? How did she get into the final round of interviews? Who knows? Let's not guess the boss's thoughts. Yun Zi, who was sitting in the corner, listened to all these words in her ear, and at this moment, she also had doubts in her heart, is it Chen Shi who entrusted her with a relationship? But she knows her temper, she shouldn't know how to do it. Yun Zi frowned and decided to perform the scene well first. About half an hour later, her name was finally called out. She walked into the rehearsal hall, which was a carefully constructed venue, and as soon as she entered, there was a sense of atmosphere in the play. There were five judges sitting in front, and Yun Zi quickly scanned the famous brands. The one sitting in the middle was the CEO of IE Entertainment, Lu Yu. Lu Yu also looked at her calmly and said, Once you're ready, let's start. Okay. The plot of this notebook lasts for five minutes and is set in the background of a fairy tale. The content roughly tells the story of the male protagonist who changes his fate to save the female protagonist and makes her become an immortal. In the end, the male protagonist himself ends up in a desperate situation. After learning the truth, the female protagonist misses the male protagonist and wants to sacrifice himself for a single role. After Yun Zi finished playing the role she had taken in, tears and despair filled her eyes with endless longing. Her emotions gradually resonated with her from lower to higher levels, and everyone was completely taken in by her performance, even Lu Yu, who was forced to complete the task, was no exception. At this moment, he was thinking that, Aside from everything else, she was the best female lead in this play. Yun Zi withdrew from the play, wiped away tears from his face, and bowed to the judging panel. Lu Yu coughed lightly and asked her, Has Miss Yun ever died with her boyfriend? Babies, vote a lot, please bookmark, end of this chapter. Chapter 9 Betrayal No one will betray you. You are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 9 Betrayal No one will betray you Yun Zi's voice was faint, why do you ask this? I didn't mean to pry into your privacy, I just felt that your performance just now was too perfect. If I hadn't personally experienced it, it would be difficult for any actor to express their emotions so deeply and hierarchically in such a short time. Thank you very much for your praise. Although I have never had a boyfriend, I have lost someone I deeply love. I think the most sincere love has similarities, so the emotions I put in are my most genuine emotions. Lu Yu nodded with a look of appreciation in his eyes. You have been hired, go to the HR department to sign a contract. Upon hearing these words, although Yun Zi was delighted in his heart, he couldn't help but ask, Mr. Lu, I have a question to ask you. You say. Yun Zi said calmly, you are engaged in the entertainment industry, and I believe you are familiar with the recent hot searches. I heard that you least like fishing girls, so why did you choose to sign me? Lu Yohuan touched his chin and said, Are you a fisherwoman? Of course I'm not. Yun Zi's expression remained calm, calm and composed. Isn't that enough? But most people will believe what the public recognizes. Lu Yu lightly curled his lips and said, I am one of the few people, I only believe what I see. The just performance is enough to prove that you are a very talented actress. Love requires artists like you. Are you satisfied with this answer? Yun Zi smiled slightly and said, I am very satisfied. Thank you, Mr. Lu. I will definitely work hard and not let down the trust of the company in me. Take Miss Yun to sign the contract, Lu Yu waved to the staff at the sidelines, yes, Mr. Lu. Yun Zi left with the staff, what she didn't know was that after she left, Lu Yu also left the rehearsal room. In the loving CEO's office, as soon as Lu Yu pushed open the door, he saw the man on the boss's chair staring intently at the computer screen, which was playing the entire process of Yun Zi's interview just now. As soon as Lu Yu sat down opposite the man, he met a pair of cold and sharp eyes. Mr. Shen, Mr. Shen, I have done everything you instructed. Why are you still looking at me with such eyes? 
Shen Jishin didn't show any signs on his face, but his tone was very cold. Don't be fooling around with me. I warn you, she belongs to me. Ah Shen, aren't you? We've been brothers for over a decade at least. Are you so cruel to me just because of her? Shen Jishin froze the screen on the computer and turned it around. Look at the way you look at her, you don't often have that kind of gaze at women, he said, isn't it, big brother? I admit I do appreciate her a bit, but you don't need to be so intimidated, do you just lack confidence in yourself? Shen Jishin remained silent. Lu Yu walked up to the desk in front of him and sat down. He smiled wickedly and patted his shoulder, just know your mistake. Remember to be gentle with me in the future. I am the one who knows your secret. Shen Jishin grabbed Lu Yu's wrist and said, don't tell her if you hear me. Ah. It hurts, it hurts. I know now, let go. Watching Lu Yu grin in pain, Shen Jishin felt sorry and lowered his eyes, saying, I'm sorry, I only have a trustworthy brother like you. Lu Yu looked at him with such a low expression that he couldn't believe his own eyes, he had never seen this on his face except when he only met him at the age of twelve. Ah Shen, don't worry, no one will betray you if I betray you, Lu Yu. Yun Zi signed the contract, and the HR department told her that this group of new employees will be working together tomorrow and can leave today. After falling in love, Yun Zi was in a great mood. After so many days of decline, she finally had something going her way. After checking, it was already 4 p.m. and my stomach was a bit hungry. I originally wanted to eat something casually outside, but as soon as I thought about eating, she realized that she still owed Shen Jishin two meals. So she took out her phone and sent him a WeChat message. Mr. Shen, I succeeded in the interview today. I would like to invite you to my house for dinner tonight to celebrate. Do you have time? After waiting for two minutes, there was no response over there. Yun Zi muttered to himself on the street, did I say something wrong? Since it's a celebration, would it be too stingy to invite him home for dinner? She nervously began typing again, if you're not available, it's okay. Let's schedule another time. Just as I was about to send it, a line of text popped up in the dialog box. Okay, as long as you have white rice. Yun Zi smiled sweetly and replied with an okay before running to the supermarket to buy groceries. She thought that from now on, she would also become someone like Shen Jishin who has the ability to take care of herself, if you don't know how to cook, learn how to do it. It shouldn't be too difficult to follow the recipe. When Shen Jishin first received Yun Zi's WeChat, he stared blankly for a long time. Because this is the first WeChat message she has proactively sent to him since he approached her these days. Lu Yu thought he was reading some important contract, but when he leaned over, he realized it was a brief dialogue box that could be summarized on just one page. Isn't it true, Ah Shen? You've been chatting for over a week now, just a few words. Hmm. Shen Jishen leaned the screen against his chest to prevent Lu Yu from looking. It's too attentive, I'm afraid she won't like it. Even if it's like this, it's not like we don't talk at all. I'm telling you, your IQ is 168, but your emotional intelligence is probably only 68, right? You think I'm like you, and women never give up. Yes, yes, no one in the upper echelons of Beijing knows that Shen Yi is the most mysterious, noble, and ascetic flower of the high mountains. Women who have seen you flock to him, while women who have not seen you regard you as a mythical figure. Lu Yu said, lifting Shen Jishin's chin, I have to say, it's really a pity that your face doesn't make a debut. Get lost. Shen Jishin mercilessly patted away Lu Yu's pig trotters, I'll make you the CEO. Do you really consider yourself a part of the industry? Isn't that right? At least I worked for you for three years too. Lu Yu showed an expression of solving the case and walked back and forth in front of Shen Jishin like Conan. At first, I thought you were on a whim, but it wasn't until I saw that girl's resume that I found out. On her first day of debut, you registered for this love entertainment company. I never expected that you were still a big lover. 
TSK TSK, if this were to spread, how many wealthy families would feel heartbroken and dream shattered? Taking advantage of Lu Yu's rambling, Shen Jishen replied to Yun Zi on WeChat. All right, keep your mouth shut, I'm leaving. Lu Yu grabbed Shen Jishen's arm and said, I'm just here and I'm leaving. Where are you going? Go home. Shen Jishen took Lu Yu's hand and strode away, there's nothing for you here for now. You can go back to Beijing. Lu Yu glared at the man's merciless back and said, what kind of person is this? Forgetting righteousness when seeing colors. Being ungrateful and ungrateful. You want to drive me away without finishing such a great performance, there's no door. Seeking collection new book period requires support from readers for follow.up reading, end of this chapter. Chapter 10 The Perfect Husband You are listening at Novel Full.audio Chapter 10 The Perfect Husband Yun Zi went to the supermarket to buy a large package of ingredients and went home. Her busy little figure was in the kitchen. I don't know if she has a natural talent for cooking, but everything went smoothly, at least as she thought. So when Shen Ji knocked on her door, she was staring at the fresh shrimp in the pot. Looking at the messy kitchen counter, Yun Zi suddenly regretted inviting someone to eat at home. I have no choice but to grit my teeth and open the door. Passing by the living room, there was still the clothes she had just changed on the sofa. In a hurry, she had to cover them with a pillow and a doll. After opening the door, Shenji stood quietly in the sunset, the warm orange light shone on his tall figure, like a divine descending from the mortal world, beautiful and not very realistic. At the thought that such a perfect person was already her nominal husband, Yun Zi suddenly felt a little flustered and said, You, you're here. Well, I hope you're not late. No, no, please come in quickly, Yun Zi said, taking out a newly bought pair of men's slippers from the shoe cabinet and handing them to him. Shen Jishin looked at her in a daze and said, Did you buy it specifically for me? Oh, well. I thought you were coming over for dinner. My slippers are too small for you to wear. I happened to be buying groceries at the supermarket and saw men's slippers. So, I randomly chose one for you. Shen Jishin smiled lightly and said, Thank you, it's very suitable. Yun Zi smiled at him and felt inexplicably shy. He turned around and went to the kitchen, saying as he walked, You change your shoes and come in to sit down. I'll go cook. She didn't know, but after she turned around, Shen Jishin held his slippers in his palm and smiled for a long time. Ah! It's so hot! Upon hearing the sound coming from the kitchen, Shen Jishin immediately changed his shoes and ran to the kitchen. Yun Zi was shaking his hand in pain, where did it hurt? The man's voice was filled with anxiety. I just forgot to turn off the heat and accidentally touched the pot with my hand. Shen Jishin saw her red index finger and grabbed her hand, then turned on the faucet to cool it down with cold water, hello, stay here. I'll go get the medicine. The man's voice carried a hint of command, but Yun Zi listened very smoothly and said, oh. In no time, Shen Jishin returned and carefully applied scalding medicine to her. He then took her hand and gently blew air on his lips, does it still hurt? Yun Zi suddenly felt an itch in his heart and gently pulled his hand back. It's much better now, he said Shen Jishin sensed something was amiss in the atmosphere and said, sorry, I didn't mean to. It's okay, it's all because I'm too useless. I can't even do this little thing well. Shen Jishin almost spoke up and said, I'll do this kind of thing in the future. Yun Zi was stunned. What does he mean by this? Why did he say such things? Seeing her motionless, Shen Jishin added, Go out quickly, you're not suitable for the kitchen. Yun Zi said, Well, she's thinking too much again. An hour later, Shen Jishin prepared a delicious meal. Yun Zi was extremely satisfied with his food. Sorry, I've agreed to treat you to dinner and you'll have to cook it yourself. Next time, I'll treat you to a restaurant. What's wrong with this? I enjoy cooking and eating at home is healthier than eating outside. 
Yun Zi smiled and couldn't help but praise, the most important thing is that the food you cook is much better than many restaurants outside. Shen Jishen looked at her with doting eyes, if it's delicious, eat more. After dinner, Shen Jishen said that she injured her hand and couldn't get wet. She specifically washed the dishes and the stove before leaving, Yun Zi looked at his refreshed pots and pans, as well as the kitchen table, and almost doubted whether he had worked part dot time in a domestic service company, she couldn't help but nod and said, it's really like going up the hall and down the kitchen. The next day, Yun Zi got up before dawn and went to the company early after washing and dressing up. When she arrived, there were hardly any people in the company, and none of the artists in the same batch arrived. With nothing to do, she studied the company culture in the lounge, in half an hour, she had already gained a good understanding of the company's operational management and personnel structure. Chen Shi is indeed right. Although this company has been established for a short time, its resources are absolutely profound, and it has cooperated with many well-known directors both domestically and internationally. In just three years, Love has already created two actresses, three actresses, five best male and female leads, and countless awards of all sizes. Such a rapid development is definitely top-notch in the industry. Sister Yun, what are you looking at? Yun Zi looked up and saw that Tang Yitian was speaking. She handed her the information in her hand and said, Do you want to see this? Tang Yitian smiled and said, Thank you, I have already seen it. Yun Zi pursed her lips, thinking that she was working hard enough. It turned out that there was someone who worked even harder than her. Meeting, meeting. A lady knocked on the door of the lounge and hurriedly went to notify the others. Tang Yitian looked at Yun Zi and said, Let's go. Okay. On the way to the conference room, someone was whispering. How could Mr. Lu personally arrange an agent for the new artist? Didn't he never ask about these small matters before? Who knows? Hey, you're saying that Mr. Lu wouldn't be interested in anyone. How could it be? Don't talk nonsense. If this is true, let the girls not live. Yun Zi frowned and turned to Tang Yitian, saying, Xiao Tang, you go first, I'll go to the bathroom. Hurry up then, be careful not to be late. Okay. Yun Zi strode away and found a deserted place to call Chen Shi. The phone rang for a long time before it was answered over there. Bao, why are you calling me so early? I'm still sleeping. Shi Shi, tell me honestly, do you recognize Lu Yu? Chen Shi said in a daze, Lu. You. Lu, what are you doing? Who is this? You really don't know each other. I swear I really don't know each other. Is that why you woke me up so early? Ah. Please spare the child. I was wrong, baby. Keep sleeping and treat you to a lollipop next time we meet. Chen Shi looked at the hung up phone and woke up with sleepy eyes, saying, Lollipops. You're really getting stingy. After hanging up the phone, Yun Zi hurriedly ran to the conference room, but he was still late, when she pushed open the door of the conference room, Liu had already taken his seat, everyone cast sympathetic glances at Yun Zi, and a newcomer in a corner with red eyes was secretly wiping away tears, Yun Zi bent in the direction of Liu Yu and said, I'm sorry, Mr. Liu, I'm late. Liu Yu coughed a few times, then glanced at her and remained silent for a few seconds before saying, find a seat to sit in. Everyone. Dot. Has this been gently peeled off? The artist who was scolded and cried by him for being late last time is still in tears. Seeking collection and pursuing reading seeking votes and support. End of this chapter.